I'm really pleased to introduce our first speaker today, who is Gunda Schumann. She is from Germany. She is has um, she's going to talk about the settlements of transgender ideology in German politics and law in Germany. Uh, Gunda is a lesbian activist from LAZ Reloaded, Laz Reloaded. She's a member of the board. Uh, Gunda Schumann is a lawyer, sociologist and author. Um, so thank you so much for coming and telling us about what's happening in Germany. Over to you, Gunda. I will talk today about four topics. The main title is Emerging of Self-ID in Germany. We have a liberal left-wing government in the future, and this is very, very real that we will have a kind of self-ID law in Germany very soon. Anyway, we try our best to fight against this. So I will talk about four topics. The first one, objection by a woman's organization called Sex Matters, DE, against the election of a male Green Party politician as a female member to the Deutsche Bundestag, that means to the German federal parliament. Second, a mobbing campaign against Leni Breimeyer, a social democratic politician by trans activists. Third, letters by my organization, Let's Reloaded, to politicians of the working group and the main negotiating group of the coalition parties. Fourth, the coalition agreement of November 24th on queer life. And last not least, some comments on the new state law on law enforcement in Berlin, where uh, trans people are going to be admitted to the women's prison. Okay, first point. Objection by a woman's organization called Sex Matters in English, of course, against the election of a male Green Party politician as a female member to the Deutsche Bundestag. Recently, the women's organization, in German it's called Geschlecht Zelt, DE, has filed a claim with the electoral board of Deutscher Bundestag against the election of a trans-identified male Green politician as a female member to the Deutsche Bundestag. Before the election, he had not applied for change of sex entry in the state registry, but was nevertheless put by the Greens on a voting list position for women. Federal and state election authorities mistakenly assumed that person called Markus Ganzara to be female due to his self-chosen name Tessa. The background is a loophole in the federal election law. The women's organization Sex Matters argues that this manipulation of voters would violate democratic and procedural principles and damage public trust in the rule of law. In addition, statistics about the female share of members of Deutsche Bundestag would be faked and all efforts to enhance the female share in political bodies thus become obsolete at highest levels. Finally, that policy runs counter to the constitutional obligation by the state to achieving equality between women and men. We are curiously waiting for the decision by the electoral board of Deutsche Bundestag. I will report to WHRC in the future about this. Second, mobbing campaign against Leni Breimeyer, social democratic politician by trans activists. After German federal elections on September 26, three parties, the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Liberal Democrats entered into negotiations for a future coalition government. As a first step, 22 working groups got established containing members of all participating parties to outline the future coalition agreement. 
after nomination of Leni Breimeyer, a gender critical feminist politician, as chair of the working group on equality diversity by the Social Democrats, the winning party in the federal elections, a shitstorm by trans activists, for example, the subgroup SPD Queer, in social media broke out against her. On October 20th, Lutz Reloaded forwarded a letter to the General Secretary of SPD, Lars Klingbeil, and the group chairman of SPD in the federal parliament, Dr. Ralf Mützenich, requesting to keep Leni, Leni Breimeyer in that prominent position as a feminist politician of outstanding merit. Shortly before the working group was going to kick off in late October, Leni Breimeyer, nevertheless, has been replaced by Petra Köpping, a specialist for sexual and gender diversity issues as chair of the working group. On November 2nd, Lutz Reload forwarded a solidarity address to Leni Breimeyer, expressing its support during these stormy times. She was still in charge for sex equality issues, however. Leni Breimeyer was grateful for the support of Lutz Reloaded. Third, letters by Lutz Reloaded to politicians of the working group and the main negotiating group. On November 6, Lutz Reloaded sent a letter to all members of the working group, Equality Diversity, stressing the fact that the bill on self-ID submitted by the Greens and the Liberal Democrats in 2020 to the federal parliament would not be compatible with the constitutional rights of women, in particular lesbian women, regarding equality with men. For example, loss of safe and autonomous spaces for women, lesbians, when men identifying as women or lesbians will get access. Furthermore, minors, in particular girls, who may not be gender conforming, will suffer severe psychological and physical harm upon informed consent to gender reassignment surgery. After the working group submitted its negotiating results to the main negotiating group in charge to finalize a coalition agreement, Lutz Reloaded sent a letter to the members of that group, mainly leaders of the three parties, for example, Olaf Scholz, future chancellor of the German government, on November autonomous spaces for women lesbians. Lesbians in particular would increasingly suffer sexual violence by so-called trans lesbians. Equality of women lesbians would be hampered and their right to bodily and psychological integrity threatened. Before a so-called self-ID law could be enacted, Lutz Reloaded is requesting a broad evidence-based discussion about the amendment of the so-called Transsexuellen Gesetz in Germany, the Gender Recognition Act, and the admission of gender reassignment surgery of minors, taking into consideration the massive impairment of women's, lesbians, and children's rights. As a result, competing rights of women, in particular lesbian women and the protection of minors, would have to be reconciled with the rights of trans persons, guaranteed under the German constitution as well. Fourth topic, coalition agreement of November 24th on queer life. The coalition parties will replace the transsexual Gesetz by a new self-ID law. That would include change of sex entry in the state registry, basically by self-declaration. Furthermore, a broadened and sanctioned prohibition of disclosure of the biological sex by third persons and strengthening of educational and advisory service offers. Costs of gender reassignment surgery are to be borne completely by the state health insurance. However, 
The text does not disclose whether also minors may change their sex entry in the state registry and whether they may consent to gender reassignment surgery. Furthermore, the law on protection against conversion therapy of 2020, including trans kids, will be tightened. Even guardians would face legal punishment if they try to converse their trans kids. Let's Reload It will, together with other women's organizations, organize and or participate in public protests against these intended legal changes, severely impairing women's in particular lesbians' lives. Fifth point, the state law and law enforcement Berlin. On September 25th, the amended Berlin Strafvollzugsgesetz, the law on law enforcement, entered into force, granting a trans or non-binary person access to the prison of the opposite sex on a case-by-case -case basis. Besides personality and needs of the trans person and the incarceration target, Criteria such as needs of the other prisoners, as well as guarantee of security and order of the institution would have to be considered as well. The law was initiated by the Berlin Justice Senator of the Greens and amended without public debate. Lutz Reloaded heard about it only afterwards. Lutz Reloaded will try to find out by members of the State Parliament of Berlin whether these new provisions have been applied already and what the experiences have been so far. Thanks a lot. Finally, I would like to announce that Lutz Reloaded is a registered trademark since yesterday. Okay. Since we are very often attacked by trans activist organizations, we will have now a very forceful tool to fight against this uh, terrible attacks. Thanks a lot.